Mercy on me, I'm Jack Alvin, and um, I thought we would start with a prayer. So the Lord be with you. Let us pray. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our <clears throat> theme for this evening, uh, to, to frame what we will hear in a few minutes, is pour out your spirit uh, upon all flesh. And this idea of all flesh is something that we will consider as we hear Meg talk about her journey in Africa, which is across the globe. More specifically, when I hear... Um, and I remember this prayer, and I think of missionaries to Africa and Honduras and places not in the United States of America. I hear those questions, well, why are we going abroad to do mission work when there's plenty of work to do in our backyard? Um, and I remember this prayer, and I remember particularly the story of Babel, as we know in uh, first chapters of Genesis. And just to kind of recall that story, we know that, um, that God... The whole earth spoke one language and used the same same words. And these people said, well, let's build a city and make a name for ourselves so that we won't, we won't be scattered, we won't, be, we won't crumble. But God had different plans. He said, this could be dangerous. God's creation was full of possibilities greater than these. So God confused their language and scattered them across the earth. At first glance, we might perceive... God is being out of line because these people were just trying to be unified, but God foresaw a false type of unity, a unity that seeks self-preservation and inward seeking. Instead, God sees diversity as a true reflection of unity where the whole world's concerns can be addressed um, as he scatters them across the earth. God tells us in the story of Babel that the world is rich and full of possibilities beyond our own communities. God invites us to discover his truth in, um, in all corners of the earth. God invites us to celebrate all languages and all peoples. God invites us to love not just our neighbor across the street, but across the globe. God calls us out of our powers to live in a world created that, so that we can experience God wherever we go in the different spaces and places of the world. And as we look ahead to scripture, we find a, a story that seems to complete the story of Babel, a story that we find in Acts, what we, the story that we celebrate on Pentecost. Um, and in this story, all the people speak a different language, but they can all understand each other. The languages are still distinct, but the Spirit makes them understand. Um, so that's an attempt to answer that question. In a few minutes, we'll hear uh, Meg Presley share her story about how the Spirit has helped her understand and meet the people, God's beautiful people in Africa. Um, but first, uh, Cooper Morrison, our outreach chair, is going to offer a more proper introduction to Meg. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Thanks, Jack. Um, I'm Cooper Morrison. I'm the uh, new outreach committee chair. I'm looking forward to uh, working with Ron and neighbors, Sherry Wag staff, and and everybody who's involved in a ministry at All Saints, I'm really good, looking forward to just being uh, being involved in outreach and being uh, so, and you know being involved with the parishioners and also um, you know, everybody who's in charge and just and just being there. So if you have any questions, um, if, if you're wondering what our um, our stand is doing over here, we, uh, Meg has, has graciously agreed to allow us to videotape this, and we're going to send it out um, probably on a link. And so anybody who's not here tonight, and we'll see this for the rest of the series, um, can have a look um, and, and see what we're all getting to experience tonight. Um, it's my pleasure to induce, uh, introduce Meg Presley. She's been a parishioner at All Saints, for, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, at St. Luke's for 25 years. Sorry, All Saints rolls all the time. Um, <laughs> And she's a retired attorney. She's a, uh, been a volunteer at Marion Medical Mission for five years. Um, Marion Medical Mission works to install water wells and in poor and remote areas of North Malawi, and she's going to tell us more about that. 
And so, Meg, thank you for being here. We're really excited to hear uh, more about Marion Medical Mission.